So Sammy, I'm excited to catch up with you here at Mobile World Congress. It's been an um, interesting show this year. You know, there's a, a diversity of topics, but there's sort of a central theme. Maybe let's sort of take these one at a time, starting with Open RAN, something yeah. you and I have been discussing for eight years That's at this right. point. But right. I think we've moved past the nuts and bolts of the interoperability, and now we're getting to that innovation topic. But you know, what are you hearing? No, it is true. I think now maturity is not a discussion anymore. I think we are seeing maturity happening. In fact, you know, in, in our uh, Valor Lab where we are doing a lot of testing, I think we're seeing now, now uh, we're doing a lot of tests. There is a lot of incoming innovation from smaller and mid-sized and even bigger companies. And the results we're seeing right now, maturity is really, really going up. So we are now at the stage, uh, you're absolutely right. Now let's do the, the tug-in innovation, the apps, the, the thing on top of that, the control. I mean, so it's, it's moving to this right direction, moving fast, and I think there is an acceptance in the community right now that the ecosystem is being set up uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's moving. So, you know, we are witnessing this maturity happening. So, uh, we'll talk more about 6G, but just 6G in the context of Open RAN, how are you thinking about the architectural approach pulling forward now that the standardization work kicks off, what, next week in, in uh, Japan, right? Right, that's right. So 6G, I mean, there was a lot of discussion about 6G and always, there are always about new, you know, I mean, I'm going to do terahertz, I mean, you know, see what millimeter we've had problems and so on. I think one key aspect that we all agree and everybody agrees on 6G, it will be open. Right? And I think that Open RAN is kind of a precursor to what 6G is going to look like. Right? And I think even with uh, Oran Alliance now having a big discussion with 3GPP and trying to merge some of the activities, we're going to see Open RAN as a, as a fun, open network in general will be a fundamental uh, you know, component of 6G beside just you know, the new uh, kind of innovation in different applications uh, you know, like uh, you know, joint communication and sensing and, and all of these different things. So definitely 6G is about openness and again the maturity of open RAN is now making everybody comfortable that this is what's going to happen next yeah. another big topic at the show has been non-terrestrial networks yeah. and i mean it's it's early days but it seems like we have line of sight long term into this tight integration between terrestrial non-terrestrial but i mean maybe take stock of where we are today i think some of the services that are in market are a little 3g like and yeah, i don't mean that yeah, to be yeah. you know a, a, a knock but you know there's no, no, so again, NTN, I think there was a statistic saying 90% of operators around the world already have an NTN plan, right? So that, that tells you that it is not just a, a, you know, just a, a, a hype discussion, it's actually a reality. We're seeing headlines pretty much every month about what's, who is doing what with who, you know, and, and moving to device-to-device to device communication. There is a lot of NTN labs being deploy, deployed and developed around the world for testing, you know, uh, the fixing the main issues you're talking about, how we move from, you know, yeah, yeah, kind of like Pixel 3G into actual, you know, communication and testing of uplink and downlink, you know, in terms of uh, performance. So yes, NTN is, is moving, it's moving fast, and, and it's it's one of the right areas we are seeing in the wireless uh, communication today. Yeah, from the Viavi perspective, from the actual, you know, difficult work of simulation and testing NTN and terrestrial network uh, and how they interplay, you know, what does that look like? There's so many difficulties that you have to address, like Doppler shifts and just like the long orbital yeah, 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 times yeah, yeah, of a satellite. Yeah, yeah. But just, you know. so, that, so that's actually what the excitements were using. We are, we are introducing a lot of the NTN testing with partnership with Brother and Schwartz. And, and we are now do, doing what we call the, this, you know, scenario generation with all the different uh, activities. We are now, we have um, our capabilities to map and emulate all the, 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 uh, the terrestrial, uh, non-terrestrial uh, satellites movement and actually in real time and actually doing a realistic emulation of all the different effects and how you can you know, overcome these problems. So it, it is an exciting time for us because we have all these components plus we have also a lot of the, non, the terrestrial uh, histories that we can bring into these emulations so that we can do actual emulation that is very uh, effective and very realistic. Thank you.